on first go, you know the vibes. Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Danisha Sadi, and today's video would be about maintenance. So, first off, I'm gonna go grocery shopping. As y'all can already tell, I am in the supermarket. Um, usually I go to different supermarkets because different supermarkets have different prices and in 2020-2024 we are trying to maximize our savings and earnings on that savings um, so I'm just in here this is great supermarket to pick up a couple stuff I would definitely show you guys what I get before leaving the supermarket um, I don't think I'm gonna do a food haul when I get home. So as I go, y'all will see what I get. Drop it in the water, let the daughter find an image with the rest. She'll be learning how to breathe. Spinning through identity, reveal another pretty little scheme. Save her mind. Hold her hand. And don't believe a lie. You understand. Walk it down the valley, pack it. People, please season your food. So I'm gonna get the fried rice. The packaging looks like it changed, but I wanna make this this week for lunch. I'm gonna get the fried rice and the all of purpose seasoning. These are the prices. To heaven for the bottoms of her feet. Teach her how to jump and how to stretch when she reach. Like the angels do, and you gon' make it through now. Tell about the healer. Greater is the one within a column as the leader. Teacher, y'all, I almost got not <laughs> trying to record the vegetable market for y'all. And the person ain't even kicking or honing or anything. They expect me to have a camera in front of me. I know something is behind of me at the same time. Oh, funny. But, anyways, I'm at the vegetable market. I want save. Okay, I see some save, but I don't know if I like. Sorry for the dance. I don't know if I like the side that I see. So I'm gonna go around and look for the side that looks the best to me. The reason why I started the video with health and stuff like that, that is something I really want to be on top notch this year. My health. Uh, because y'all, I was at the hospital. Not like at the hospital. I went to the hospital a couple of days ago. I saw some things that traumatized me a little bit and it reminded me that I need to take care of myself more so I started off with grocery shopping normally I would cook for like the first four three days of a work week but this year I'm gonna try to increase it to all days and maybe eat like fast food maybe once a month or twice or not at all i would prefer that um there's other stuff that i'm changing where my diet is concerned but yeah let's let's get into the groceries let's get back into the groceries i should say it's right here, my life is here I'll be a living sacrifice for you You're the fire, you're the fire, the refiner Hey guys, so I am back home As you guys already saw in the title and thumbnail that I'm getting my eyebrows done but Obviously what you didn't know is that i'm going to be doing it myself so i went to our local it's not really local but you know our beauty supply store which is diamond girl and got this it cost me three dollars it cost me like five dollars to get my brows done um and sometimes they don't even do it exactly how i like it no i've never done this in my life so do i know what i'm doing not really i watched a video yesterday do i remember what that video said no i don't so i'm gonna go ahead and re-watch that video 
in order to do my brows all i know i saw her doing like so and so but just so i don't mess up my brows because i don't want to be walking around here with like no brows i already don't have that much brow as you can see there's some people with some thick juicy brows and i'm just like oh child if i had those brows but oh, so we're gonna have to work with what god blessed us with right so i'm gonna go ahead and watch the video again and then i'm gonna come back on here and we're gonna try to do this together so i'm done i don't know how good of a job that i did but it's my first time so i definitely think it'll get better plus i noticed with my eyebrows and this is not something that i did today okay but i noticed that i do have like a little ball spot there i do not know if that came from somebody else or whatever i don't know but it there is like a little ball spot and there is a little ball there so i don't know if that has anything to do with it but these are the brows my favorite one is probably this one because i think two of my brows they were shaped differently so when I try to reshape them to look like each other, they kind of still, you know, shape a little different. But, yeah, these are the brows. It's not as thin as, like, if I go to a barber, he usually would make it out a lot more thinner. Which, I actually don't really like thin brows, but I don't like super thick boy brows neither. But I think if I consistently trim them this way i probably could grow a little bit more hair there i don't know that's just my theory and my theory can be wrong but it's good enough where i could like go in with a pencil and everything would look fine i'm probably gonna put some castor oil on it you know but i am make it go back really quick i wanted to shave my face as well too i don't know if i'll do that on camera or if i'll do it at all but yeah these are the brows tomorrow or later this afternoon i don't know i'm gonna start the process for my silky purse i'm scared because caribbean will be doing weird things but i really want to straighten my hair i want a little a little change hey guys so it's the next day i just washed my hair and i'm gonna share with you guys the products that i use today's wash days products were from the brand monday i'm not sure this is actually the brand's name but i got this from stephanie Marichelle caramel coils here on youtube um she's one of my favorite influencers and she sent me a little gift box which I really appreciate. So I don't know if she'll be watching that. I don't, I don't know. But thank you if you end up here. Um, and she also sent me the Aunt Jackie's Curls and Coils in Control. Anti-poof, moisturizing, and softening conditioner. These together smell so good. I, I This, I think, is the thing that, you know, brings out the scent oh this is the consistency like it is not runny it is thick but at the same time it's very let me give an example it's very like lotiony you know there's some deep conditioners that are extremely thick but because they might be i don't know shea butter base it might have a really thick 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 consistency instead of a creamy consistency um how do i know all of this because i'm currently you know researching and stuff like that so this this it this makes your hair clean like you will not have any residue left and that's why i use this these are the products i actually used the last time i washed my hair so 
when i talked about the products that i tried in my previous video these were the products that i was referring to um to blow dry my hair before the straightening process i'm gonna be using the l'oreal paris sleek it hair straight sorry sleek it iron straight heat spray 3d sleek 450 protection degrees protection she also sent me this i've never tried this before so i am going to try it out for the first time last time i used my hair serum but this time i wanted to try something else because my hair serum is not you know made to be a heat protectant i just tried it out to see what it would be like and i love the results now this i don't think this is also for heat protectants or whatever but it seems to have a different like it's a more runny consistency compared to my oil so i wanted to see if this would work and it has a very i don't know if i'm smelling it properly oh yeah i'm smelling it more better on my skin it has a very light scent that i like um but yeah i'm trying this out for the first time but let's get into how i actually like deep not deep condition but dry my hair so i pat it in sections so let's get some sections so i put my hair in some section i'm gonna do the other half when i'm finished blow drying this half so so far we have five sections so this is how i apply the products right last time i used the heat protection first but this time i'm using the serum first now again i'm not a hairstylist <laughs> i'm just figuring things out just like you are but this is my first time like flat in my hair in yes the last time i put on my hair was 2018 so it's been what like four years no 19 21 22 23 yeah four years it's not five yet because we just started 2024 and it was the ending of 2018 so that's what i do and i detangle my hair then I just twist that up. The rest of my hair, I'm gonna take it up and we're gonna put it on this side so we can focus on the back. This is the the dryer that I use. Let's make sure that's on. It's on. I believe this is Kanye, but I got the attachment from Amazon. It's from kiss red collection now before i start i take this down and i make sure that it is detangled again no your main focus on the first passes of your blow dryer is your roots that is the main focus you want to make sure that your roots are dried properly as it will have bumps now usually i use warm and on low but today i'm gonna use hot on low heat is my hair this is the first section blow dry i'm gonna blow dry the rest section off camera but this is how it's looking this is my actual length i'll come back and show you guys when i'm done i finished blow drying my hair 
to be honest i feel like if i want to like you know but i didn't know but i don't want to mess it up and i would prefer doing it and then wrapping it and then like going to sleep in it than messing it up no and doing it and then it poofs out but yeah this is the hair look at that i'm gonna do something to it so it would you know not be out like this and contained so it could when i'm ready to do it tomorrow it'll look good hey guys so i have completed flat ironing my hair um the reason why it's up is because something was going on at home and i didn't want to film with noise and stuff in the background so i decided to just put it up i did film my reel which you could go ahead and check that out on my instagram but now i'm going to take the hair down y'all i'm not the best at wrapping so i don't even know no how do i take this down i don't know how you take it down oh okay oh this is it guys let me do the little <laughs> but yeah this is the hair that's it correctly but it's super light and airy thank you guys so much for watching today's video i hope that you guys enjoyed and basically you can do your maintenance at home um you do not need to book a fancy appointment to you know keep yourself looking and feeling good um and maintenance is far more than looks as we know um a lot of my maintenance videos if you are a subscriber a returning subscriber you know that I include more than just beauty sometimes i include god because having that relationship with god is something that you need to maintain and it's very important this time i decided to include food and a little bit of health because you need to make sure that what you put in your body is healthy because if you want to look and feel healthy you are gonna have to eat healthy i'm gonna actually go and cook in a bit but before i do that obviously i'm gonna wrap up my hair because y'all it's not it's not easy out here like this weather is not for the week when it comes to straight hair so i'm going to wrap it again but i want to include what i make for lunch this week so it's gonna be over here I'm hoping that it looks good because if it doesn't then i'm gonna be a little bit embarrassed because uh, <laughs> i already said i'm gonna show you guys but anyways i hope that you guys enjoyed today's video please do not forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next one